discussing some collaboration between Open Cog and Ray's team, actually. And one of the leading members of Ray's team is someone who used to work for me on in Novamente years ago. So there, 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 there may be a, a connection between my team and Ray's uh, a, a year from now. But I mean, if, if Ray wants the world to know exactly what he's doing, I guess he, he will tell you. He doesn't need me to. But I think it's it's not a direct competitor to what I'm doing in the sense that he's not making intelligent game characters or robots. I mean, what he's doing is is naturally more aligned with Google's core business model. So if... Uh, and there's a possible path to AGI that way, right? Like, let's, let's say Google made a question-answering system that answered natural language questions about what happened on the web and held a conversation with you about it. You can envision that getting smarter and smarter. You could. So understood what you were saying, and if if that sort of avenue, if that sort of avenue is going to work, they would be the people to do it. I guess the more I have done concrete work toward AGI, the more I have moved into the embodiment camp. Yeah. I mean, I started out in the late nineties thinking more like, yeah, let's make a human-level AGI that just learns everything from the web. And I still don't think that's impossible. But as you get deeper and deeper into actually working on it, you start to see how closely tied human-like general intelligence is with the human body. I mean, not that it's a 100% inevitable connection there, but so much of what we do has evolved for controlling the body that if and processing data that comes in through the body if you want to make something that a roughly human-like type of intelligence that's harder to do if it has no body and no vision and no hearing and no touch yeah and if it's not planning and achieving goals in some world with objects and obstacles so that that's not to say there's not some interesting kind of intelligence that could come out of making a search engine smarter and smarter, though, even if it's not a very human-like kind of intelligence. And then perhaps you can network those two kinds of intelligence together. I mean, the, the smart Google search engine, which comes to intelligent conclusions of some sort based on all the data there, with a more human-like intelligent robot body, 